Good morning, everyone. How's everybody doing? What a beautiful day, a beautiful Wednesday here in Leoman. Um, just want to say thank you for everyone being here. My name is Mike Sutton, and I serve as the president and CEO for Habitat for Humanity. And on behalf of our organization, I want to thank you for being with us as we dedicate the 885th home that we've built here in our community. Um, uh, uh, that would not be possible without the love and generosity of, uh, of our community. And so we're just so thankful uh, that uh, our community continues to wrap their arms around Habitat and support the mission of providing affordable home ownership opportunities for families in our community. Really gives families the opportunity to anchor themselves uh, here locally uh, and stay in our community and have a place that's affordable for them and their family to grow. And so, uh, but today is all about Suhei and her kids. They have worked so, so hard to get to today, and we're just so proud of her for everything that she's done uh, to become a homeowner. Um, and I'll tell you a little bit about that. Uh, so she, uh, she applied into our program. Uh, when did you apply to our program? In September last year. September of last year. So less than a year, you're already a homeowner? Wow. All right. Well, she was moving and grooving then. Uh, so she, uh, she applied into our program uh, based on her need for affordable home ownership. Uh, and was accepted uh, with the understanding that she would have to complete 36 home buyer education classes. Now those education classes are designed to help the family uh, be as self-sufficient as possible once they move into the home. So we teach everything from uh, fire and safety, home maintenance and repair, how to be a good neighbor, getting engaged in your community. After uh, I, I, they, they complete those 36 home buyer education classes, and while they're doing that, they're also putting in sweat equity, working on habitat homes as well as the home of their own. And so Suhei actually was required to put in 350 sweat equity hours, but she killed it. She put in 474. Uh, so she went above and beyond. So she was out here working on her home and working alongside our sponsor, which we'll talk about in a moment, as well as all the volunteers who came out and worked on the house. So now that she's completed all of that sweat equity and all of those classes, she is now purchasing this home from Habitat. She'll sign her mortgage documents later today, and she will be purchasing this house. It's not free, but it's a zero interest mortgage, which will guarantee the affordability of her home for the duration of her home loan. And so Suhei, on, on behalf of Habitat for Humanity and all the folks that are here today, congratulations and welcome home. Thank you. So at Habitat, uh, we were started in 1985 uh, here in our local community and under the Christian uh, beliefs that uh, regardless of, of where we come from and regardless of our backgrounds, we can all come together to help a family that's struggling for affordable home ownership. And so uh, at every home dedication, all 884 before this one, uh, one, uh, uh, one tradition has been to present the family with a copy of the Bible. Uh, the Bible we know has uh, all of life's answers found between those two covers. And so uh, Katie, uh, Katie Rockman from our team uh, is going to present you with your Bible that's been signed with well wishes from a lot of the folks that are here. So Katie, come on up. As Mike said, this Bible has been signed by all of the well-wishers here, and we wish you nothing but the best in this new chapter of your life. And I hope every time you open this, um, you think of everybody that is here today and how you've got started on this journey. Thank you. Congratulations. <laughs> Another item that we present at every Habitat Home dedication is the hammer. Now, the hammer is going to be a reminder to you of all that sweat equity you put into the program. And it's also a reminder of all the volunteer labor that goes into help building a Habitat home. It takes about a thousand volunteer hours to build a house. And so uh, one of the site supervisors on your home, Jaden, uh, is here to present you with your hammer. So Jaden, come on up. Like Mike said, this hammer represents all the hours, not only that you have put in, but your sponsored bankers and every volunteer that came out to help you build your home. So when you look at this, just remember all the energy and time that everyone brought in to help you get this home. On behalf of Habitat, I present you with the hammer. Thank you. Thank you. 
All right, so you got your hammer, you got your Bible. Now we're gonna bring up Doug Beavis. Uh, he's here with the Upper Tampa Bay Chamber of Commerce. He has a special gift for Daphne and Ethan. And I know Ethan's been already eyeing it, but come on up, Doug. Good morning. Good morning and thank you. I, I couldn't quite remember how to get here. Hey, at least you got your shoes on. I know, we were just here yesterday. So uh, it's such an honor and a privilege to be part of uh, the Upper Tampa Bay Chamber, but more importantly, Kids Pedal Power. Uh, we teamed up with Habitat about three years ago and from our very first bike to now approaching 400 bikes, um, that we've given to kids of Habitat Homes. It's been just an honor and a pleasure. And there are gonna be plenty of new bikes. There's one right here, there's one down the street, there's some around the corner, and there are two right here for you guys. So congratulations on your new home and your bikes. At Habitat, we're all about partnerships. Uh, it really takes uh, the community coming together to help build a Habitat home. Uh, we're here in the Leoman community, uh, which is a big focus area for Pinellas County government. Um, and we partnered up with them a number of years ago to make sure that we were bringing more affordable home ownership opportunities to the Leoman community. Within the last 36 months alone, we've built over 50 homes just here in Leoman. Uh, and you can tell we're, we're surrounded by Habitat homes. Uh, just on this street and around the corner, there's 13 uh, that have either been completed or under construction. Um, and this, uh, this property here was made available to us through the Housing Finance Authority of Pinellas County as well as uh, Pinellas County government. And so we're just so thankful to that continued partnership uh, and Habitat is, is uh, extremely committed to Leoman and will continue to be doing more work uh, here in this community. So I just wanted to make sure to mention that. Uh, the, the county is doing some upgrades to the park right across the street. It's gonna be a state-of-the-art park. Uh, uh, very uh, and it's it's massive. It goes way 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 back, acres acres and acres, um, and so we're we're just excited for the families because they're going to have a, a a place for their kids uh, to play um, uh, just right across the street. So um, it also takes the financial resources to make habit uh, make a habitat home a reality. We're just so thankful for to our friends at, at Bankers Financial for their continued investment in habitat. I was trying to do the math in my head. I believe this is the ninth home, eighth home. Well, good, we'll do the ninth next year. Uh, the, the eighth home uh, that, that Bankers has partnered up with Habitat on, and we're just so thankful to that, that partnership. Their staff comes out and they put in hundreds of volunteer hours working alongside the homeowner, getting to know the homeowner. Um, and, uh, and they've, as I've mentioned, over the last few years have been a phenomenal partner to us uh, and, and, and also supported us uh, significantly through the pandemic, uh, which we're greatly appreciative of. So we have uh, Rob Menke, who's the uh, the president of the company, uh, and Brent Menke, uh, who, who handles all their community outreach, both here to uh, say a few words and present you with your keys. So guys, come on up. Do you have a key? I did. Oh, good. <laughs> Well, thank you, Mike. Um, like you said, this is our eighth one. Uh, Mike uh, was kind enough to uh, come by and talk to us and get us into it. And I, I don't know, the first dedication, I said that Habitat is one of the neatest things because you get something tangible out of it. You can go to any number of charities and, and give them money or give them time, but it's the same thing over and over again. This is the one thing that we do where we have something very tangible to give to somebody and so uh, it, it means a lot it means a lot to our folks uh, and we'll be doing our ninth at some point in time <laughs> 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 so anyway uh, without uh, without more ado I guess uh, Brett would you present them with the keys to the house congratulations on your new forever home Thank you so much to, to bankers uh, for continuing to partner with us, and we really do appreciate it. So, hey, congratulations. You want to say a few words? Yes. Come on. Good morning. I want to thank God for his blessing to me and my family. We want to thank Habitat for the wonderful opportunity this experience has taught us many important things 
that will apply for the rest of our life. This day marks a new life of journey of us. Thank you to our sponsors, Bankers Financial Corporation. Thank you so much. Thank you all that the part of Habitat, thanks to Jack, Mike, Sandra, Xavier, Sean, Deb, Brindy, Jaden, and all others that are part of this great organization. Thank you for all your encouragement. Thank you to my parents for them being in conditional support, especially to my mom. Thank you for not giving up on me. Thank you to all the sponsors, donors, volunteers, friends, and family we will have made with you. Thank you again, and we ask God to continue blessing all of you and allow you keep helping more families like yours. Thank you. So hey, congratulations. You've set an amazing example for your kids uh, that when you work hard, uh, good things can happen, right? And so uh, they have their forever home to grow up in now. Um, you've anchored yourself here in, in our community. We're just so, so proud of you. And, uh, and thank you for allowing everyone to be a part of this morning with you. All right, so what we're going to do now, uh, before we open that door and get a couple photos, we're going to actually say a blessing over the home. And I believe your supervisor is going to lead us in a blessing, right? Yes. So, um, uh, Selena Potts, uh, who is your supervisor uh, at work, is going to lead us in a blessing. And then uh, we'll open that front door and check out the house, right? Oh, yes. I usually tell everybody this. I uh, want to invite everybody to come up and find a place to lay your hand on the house. And we'll, uh, we'll say a blessing real quick. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you. We thank you for this opportunity, God, that you have given Suhei and her family, Lord. We thank you for all of those hands that played any part in the process of her becoming a new homeowner, Lord God. Continue to bless all the parties that are involved in Habitat, Lord God. May they continue to empower many more families to walk in their new forever homes, Lord God. We just thank you for everything that you have been doing in her life right now, Lord God. We thank you for everything that you're going to do. Continue to keep a special covering over her house. May we continually bless, and we look forward to all the happy days and moments that she is going to share with her family. And again, Lord, we just want to say thank you thank you thank you for this opportunity that has been bestowed upon her and her family at this time in your son jesus name i pray amen amen, amen. 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 and amen, amen.